MyWork is your home base in Tempo Timesheets for Cloud, where you can log your time on JIRA issues and even plan your time for the coming weeks. In this video, we're going to cover how to plan your time. This can be time that will be spent working on a project, in meetings, on vacation, or other types of time off. You can plan your own time in Tempo Timesheets, but if you want to plan time for other resources, such as your team members, you need to do that in Tempo Planner. We'll follow along with John here, who's a typical JIRA user. He wants to plan the time that he'll be working on a project in the upcoming week. When he's in Tempo, John can click the My Work icon on the sidebar to get back to it at any point. The calendar view is shown by default when My Work opens up, and this is where John can create his plans. It displays large cards like a calendar for both plan time and work logs. The first step John takes for planning is to check the time period up here in the middle, which is the current week by default. He clicks the forward arrow so that he can plan his time for next week. Then he goes to the day where he wants to plan some time and sees the log time and plan time buttons. He clicks plan time and its dialog opens, which is similar to the log time dialog. John selects the issue in the project on which he's planning to work. Then he adds a description for what he's planning to do. He could plan for just this day, but he checks period and selects the end date for his time, since he already set the start date. He enters the number of hours that he's planning on working on this issue each day. But he could also enter the total number of hours that he's planning for the whole period, and then it would be divided up per day. If you also have Tempo Planner installed, a reviewer may be required to approve your plan. But if you have only Tempo Timesheets installed, you won't see this. John doesn't need a reviewer for this plan, so he ignores it. When done, he clicks Plan Time, and it shows up on those days as plan cards in the Plans group, and plans are identified by a little blue icon. John realizes that he made a mistake on the plan dates, so he drags the plan from one day to another. He could also copy a plan by pressing the Option or Command keys on a Mac, or the Control or Alt keys on Windows and then dragging the copy to another day. If he needed to edit his plan in other ways, he could click in its corner and select Edit. He wants to edit the plan for several days, so he checks Period, and sets the date range. And he changes the description, and the amount of plan time, then clicks Update. Notice that these changes are seen only on the plans for the days that he selected. John is viewing his plans in the list view, but for a different view, he clicks the little clock icon to switch to the time view. This view shows the work log and plan cards in a format that's more like an agenda. Because John didn't enter specific hours in his plans, they're all bunched up over the same hours on each day. While he can't create new plans in this view, he can move them to different hours so that they create a better agenda. He can also easily change the number of hours in each plan by dragging its bottom up or down. Finally, John can copy a plan by pressing the Option or Command keys on a Mac, or the Control or Alt keys on Windows, and then dragging the copy to another day. So that's how you can plan your own time of any kind in My Work Calendar. Thanks for watching, and make sure to check out the other videos for Tempo Timesheets for Cloud to learn how to get the most out of it.